it so the chaff blows away from the people you know, pitching the bundles in. So the machine's a 36, made in Des Moines, Iowa. And the tractor's a Farmall F20, made in 37. So they're built for each other. Did you have a John Deere level? <laughs> Put her back down and then we'll put the screen on the pocket. Okay, lift up a little. Okay, I want to go. Yeah. Oh, I know. Separating the oat heads from the straw. So this this oats has been cut. Well, this was cut a, over a month ago. You shock it out in the field so it dries. And then you haul it in. Hopefully it doesn't keep raining all month like it did this last month. Yeah. Then it'll be pitched into this machine. And um, after we get everything hooked up and going, and the oats will come out the one spout, and the straw will come out the lower pipe, and... If everything works good, we should have oats and straw at the end of this episode. How long does it usually take for this to take place? I mean, what's the... How much take? As far as how long... You it's, what's it's considered a load and how long does it take to process it? It, it, starts, it starts in the spring when you plant your oat field. And ours got cut a little late, so ours is a little brown and shaggy looking, but it's... We're gonna make the best of what we got with it. And then usually this could be done in August, but there's so many things in August, so for our thrashing party, which is our second year, we're doing it in September. Maybe people have a little more time to remember all the work they had to do last summer. I see there are a lot of people here today. How many people does it usually take to set up and actually get threshing done? You would, you'd need at least six. By the time you have people pitching, somebody keeping an eye on the machine, make sure everything's running smooth, and the, make sure the power source of the tractor is going and not having a problem over there. And In your experience, what seems to be the most problem that uh, has to be resolved during the thrashing process? I mean, is there anything that recurs? This is farming. There's, there's everything is just day at a time, and you make the best and get everything done that you can do. And, there isn't no major problem unless your machine actually falls apart which if there's left in the shed they, they should be good excellent well we look forward to what this day brings and uh, look forward to seeing it 
Very good. Thanks, Randy. We'll um, get the show on the road as soon as my tractor gets back with full of gas. I went right by the gas barrel. <laughs> but we'll get her lined up and get her turning, and that's always the exciting thing to see this machine come back to life after 40-some years in the shed. 40-some years in the shed? Yep. It's been parked in southeastern Minnesota. It's an old Woods Brothers. They made them in Des Moines, Iowa. And they call them the hummingbird because they run so quiet and smooth. So. I noticed that uh, label on there that I, I took pictures of earlier, and I was wondering what the reason was for it. Yep, that was that was the model of this machine. And this was built in '36. It was the last, I'm thinking, the last of the thrash machines made. And then they went to the self or the pull type combines and self-propelled combines after that. So this was the uh, predecessor then. This is. The later models, so they, they've had these since the uh, early 20s, and the first ones were made out of wood, and there's just a lot of a lot of moving parts in this, so it's pretty exciting to get it back on. It's been on our family farm for, I don't know, 50, 60 years. And I used to pitch into it when I was younger. So, so you've got a lot of experience. I've, yep, and it's just, uh, my mom's glad to get this going again, and it's, you know, do it for our family, keep, keep everybody, you know, focus on what you know the way times were years and years ago tradition is important yep very much well it looks like we're going to get started tractor's coming this way let's um get her hooked up see if we get things running straight outstanding very good